Texas DC Universe. I want a refund, man. Amazon, why are you gonna do me like this? The, the picture is on the website. For $50, this is what you're gonna give me? Oh, I don't. Okay, well, I, I can barely see y'all, so I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't survive with this mask on, but uh, welcome back to Retro Rebound. In today's video, we're talking about the Flash movie. Now, I know we had that whole thing go on with the with Ezra Miller and whatnot. I just, as someone who grew up as a Flash fan, think it's just cool that the Flash is finally getting like a movie. We had the CW show. So, with that aside, I just thought this was a good chance to talk about a game that I kind of weirdly associate with the Flash. Like, I know the logical and probably more SEO-friendly decision here would have been to talk about Injustice. But when I think about Flash, I think of the moment as a little kid when I was like, it's so cool to see Flash in a video game. And I also thought it would just be a fun game to randomly pull out. And that game, ladies and gentlemen, is Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. This video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel any time. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the United States, such as Terra, where the knife from the Terra box is made by Bare Bones, based in Salt Lake City. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products, outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and so much more based on a preference quiz that you'll fill out. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods inside, but only costs you a fraction of the value. You can also preview your box before it gets shipped. So you'll get a box of awesome assigned to you. And before it's shipped, you'll get to preview what comes inside of it to decide one, if you want to keep it, two, if you want to swap for a different box, or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. For example, Bespoke sent me the Explore box, which came with a awesome backpack, as well as a nice reusable bottle in order for me to put some water in there and carried on, say, a hiking trip. The Explore box also comes packed with a granola bar and a LED headlamp. They also sent me the Chill box, which is a beautiful cooler that is gonna get a ton of reps over the summer. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter Retro Rebound 20 at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com slash Retro Rebound 20. This is one of the first Mortal Kombat games that really grabs hold of me naturally because of the other property in there. But there's so many thoughts I have on this one. But with the Flash movie coming out, my main in this game was Flash, so I just associate the two together. And I thought it'd be a fun time to go back to this game in celebration of the movie. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new here and you are into nostalgic and retrospective content, you know what to do, I say it every video. And a lot of you listen and I appreciate that, but if you don't listen, it's time now. It's time to click that subscribe button. I'll give you three seconds. That was just one because I'm the Flash and I'm quick, baby. All right, let's do this. When worlds collide, heroes and villains must choose their side and fight as a sinister plot with cataclysmic results unfolds. Which side will you choose? Utilize signature attacks and distinct heroic brutalities and fatalities. Select your combatant with over 20 Mortal Kombat and DC Universe heroes and villains to fight as. Choose your side with a unique storyline based on your alliance, Mortal Kombat, or DC Universe. Experience all new fighting mechanics, battle in mid-air while falling in free fall combat, get up close and personal with close combat, and then fight in all new arenas. Compete in sprawling arenas such as Gotham City, Earth Realms Hell, and even merged arenas with selecting your side and challenging friends to go online and fight. Inside, we have the manual and the disc, and man, just this, this, this box art, go so hard. I remember just as a kid being so, so excited coming home with this game. Here we have what is actually some illustrations. Check that out. We love to see that. Now, the controls, we know it's Mortal Kombat, so we got to get the K involved whenever we can. You'll see that all throughout the manual. And they break down what is a pretty solid package in the arcade story mode combo challenge. And the practice mode, it's not super dense. Like, you know, I, I don't think it was really until MK9 with the challenge tower that we had really, truly meaty single player fighting games on the 360. Like that's the one I go to immediately where I spent so much time on that. What an incredible time it was at that. Uh, but the story mode and the arcade are really the main draws here in my opinion, besides the online fights, which I'll share some personal experience on. 
you have Xbox Live matches themselves, uh, rank match, player match, and all that good stuff there. Um, and then you have the extras where you can view the endings of the arcade mode, which is nice to go back to. Biographies of all the characters, which I think is smart because in case you don't know who's who for whatever respective brand you're not familiar with. Um, there are gameplay options like turning down the, the difficulty for the... Uh, the opposing fighter, which is really nice when you're younger and hopping in just as a DC fan. I thought it was a smart call. Uh, they break down the UI here. They break down close combat, which was more of a defining feature uh, for the game. Uh, I love how the punch here has blood. This was a big deal. Uh, this was before we had edgy DC doing R-rated movies and whatnot. Uh, in fact, this was before we were really getting any mature stuff in video games or movies in the terms of like blood and guts. You know, I think of X-Men Origins Wolverine as a game that was a barrier breaker, where on the 360, that game was gross. Like you were putting dudes' heads in the helicopter blades and stuff. Uh, so just seeing a punch being thrown by the flash on Liu Kang and blood coming out was a really big deal, at least for me as a kid. <laughs> uh, there's free fall combat, they break that down. Test your might, kind of like who can mash the buttons the most, despite all the breakdown here, which I <laughs> think is funny. Uh, and then there's rage mode which we'll also get into. And then the back here is promoting Wheelman, another Midway game, shout out to Midway. And then here you can register your copy today for a chance to win an iPod Touch 32 gigabytes. Man, shout out to the iPod Touch. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a complete inbox experience for Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. Let's talk about it, shall we? Uh, the reason, again, I, I really attached to this game truly was the Flash. Like. I won't act like I was reading all the comics and stuff, I read a few, um, but I always just thought the Flash was a cool hero, and I always wanted a Flash video game. I still don't know how a developer would do it, just because his superpower is really hard to tie into a game. I'd be interested to see if one day someone actually tries to do that. But, look man, to get him in a fighting game roster with Mortal Kombat characters that I grew up with was a dream come true. I remember spamming this dude online so much. I know we'll talk about the story and stuff, but I gotta get into the online gameplay because I would go online and the Flash had a unbeatable combo if you let it hit, which is, I think it was a quarter circle forward B. And what he'd do is dash by you eight million times, right? And he'd do all this damage. And then while you're standing there dazed, you just walk up and unleash this rapid hit combo. And I didn't quite, have it down pat like I did when I was in, I think, 8th or 7th grade when I played this. But you'll see a couple of times in the video, because it's mostly Flash gameplay as a celebration of the movie release and just some little Flash love out there. Uh, you'll see that I nailed it a couple of times. Like, that was the go-to. I remember online spamming this. This is hilarious because when I look at other fighting games that I played going into high school, oh my god. God, I curse the name of spammers. Specifically with Injustice 1. Injustice 1 had a horrible problem with Deathstroke, where this dude would pull out the AR, just pop, 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 pop. Oh, you're going high? Pop, 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 got you again. And it would just be spam, spam, spam. So it's so funny to think that back then I was a spam god. But I have grown out of that and into costumes like this. <laughs> but anyway, that was the thing I loved the most, was you, they captured the speed of the Flash really well. Now, one thing you may have noticed when going through the complete box experience, when you looked at this box, it's got Mortal Kombat on it, right? But what's that there? T for teen. Hmm. Yeah, so the blood is there. And that works a lot. It gives power to all the attacks you see, and there are a lot of cool super attacks, but it's the fatalities and the brutalities. So again, this was what we'll call um, Pillsbury Doughboy Soft DC coming out to play and saying, look, we have comics of these characters dying and getting brutalized, and we are known as the edgy brand, but you cannot kill any of these characters. Obviously much different now. You look at Mortal Kombat getting Joker DLC and this dude is killing people or getting killed in a brutal manner. You think of the Joker movie with the scene where he shoots a dude in the head. Like, you know how it all goes, right? Where it's become progressively darker and they've really honed in on that. I think because when you look at Marvel and their, uh, we'll say humor that they try to do, that's kind of wearing thin on people. 
that DC is this breath of fresh air. You get a movie like the Batman where he's just mercilessly beating the life out of people. You get that in Spider-Man, for example, but it just feels like it's more at home with DC. But at this time, that was not them. So when you look at some of the fatalities and brutalities, I'm talking to you, Kano. I'm talking to you, Sonya Blade. Oh my God, some of these fatalities are so disappointing. When you look at Kano's, this dude lands on someone's chest and they actually have the gall to say, fatality. What? That's an L, bro. You lost. You're the one who should be dead for that. That's insane. Now, what's funny is some of the DC ones are, are way more brutal. I mean, they're few and far between. Like, <laughs> Batman's brutality is, let me sick some bats on someone. <laughs> but otherwise, there are some decent ones in the bunch here. But th this was another thing that even growing up, like, I remember... Some of these fatalities in the older games, they did not play around. I, I think of MK9, which I know came after this, but to me, that is the iconic fatality game where they have Kung Lao throwing down the saw blade and dragging his opponent through and holding up both halves. Absolutely disgusting. We will not show it here because we need to have the video monetized, but oh my God, I'll take my chances when we do a dedicated Mortal Kombat video because you've got to show the fatalities at that point, but oh my God. So when you go from that experience to something like this, and especially even the older, older games where they're like ripping out hearts and holding them up in the air, even that's gone. Yeah, it feels pretty, pretty soft in comparison because of course DC's here. And you'll get moments like, I don't know, Scorpion dragging someone down to hell and then you'll see the skeleton pop up. So I guess they didn't kill him on screen so they can get away with it. But there's never anything that's gonna make you really cringe and go, ooh, that looks painful. Which is why I gotta say, if there's a game that deserves a remake, not because it's bad, this game's great, but if it deserves a remake just because now we have a refreshed DC that understands their identity, and of course Mortal Kombat's only become more brutal as time has gone on, and then you have Injustice in the mix with Netherrealm, it's a perfect time to give this one a redo and do it right. Because it feels like we're just getting there, right? Like we see Injustice 3 was leaked over on NVIDIA, which that has been like the leak Bible. Everything there has been true, right? And then you have Mortal Kombat 1 coming out in September. And we just keep going back and forth. It's like, it's time to bring them together and do it the way where it's going to be rated M and it's going to blow people's minds because both these rosters can get far more brutal. But still, it's a great fighting game because of that roster, because of that crossover. You get to pick one of two sides to start off your story. And like most MK stories, it's a chapter by chapter progression as you hop across all these different characters and see what they're doing. And it's got a good flow where everyone's fighting constantly. Like in the Flash chapter, you'll fight four times in Gotham City, which is pretty cool. And you'll start to learn more about this rage mode which is really good because it's pretty much built in super armor. The balancing in this game, if you couldn't tell, not the best, but again, that's where the roster really wins you over. But the fighting style is great. It's uh, it's a 2D fixed camera angle, but in a 3D space. So kind of like Soul Calibur-ish, I would say, um, in that regard. But I just love how there are stages connected to one another. So you'll bash someone through a wall. You'll do the Prove Your Might mini game and then you'll bash through the next set of walls and you're in a different part of Gotham City. That stuff is awesome. I think Netherrealm captured that well. While this is Midway, by the way, Netherrealm did the same in Injustice where if you held back and pressed A or X, you would punch someone into the next arena and they'd have a whole cutscene for that. So that was just an awesome kind of callback for me hopping into this game. Uh, but the story is fun, right? Because you're just getting to see these two cross over and fight and when they're interacting in cutscenes, it really is like, wow, I can't believe that this is real. So it's a classic in that way. And then you get little quirks that separate it. There's close combat, which can be really broken. So what happens is you pull someone in and you just gotta get lucky in my opinion, my friend, because what'll happen is let's say I press X. I'm gonna throw a right hook, right? Until you see me press X, you got maybe a fraction of a second to press X as well and block it and then get out of the close combat. The second you match up, you get to bounce out. But if you're just guessing wrong or you're mispressing, oh man, you're gonna take like 28% damage. Now what they also do is the, the, the falling combat where you're punching in midair. And if you're landing those and then you get countered, that bar that's building up on the right side, that damage is gonna turn to you when you land on the ground. So that one I like a little bit more because you have a chance to turn the tides. And if you lose that, then you can turn the tides again. It's not until you hit the ground 
that the damage is dealt, but there is initiator and a defender in that. So there are little quirks there beyond the rage mode that make this game uh, stand out, I'd say, among the rest. But it's just a fun arcadey fighting game, man. It really is. I mean, it is such a blast to hop back into this and reflect because i remember bringing this game over to friends houses like we played in, in one of my friend timmy's basement and uh, we just grinded the heck out of this game man and i remember grinding for the achievements i don't i didn't get all thousand gamer score but this game had that kind of we had a donna term here like that 360 odor on it where it's just a game that worked really well in that time period of working between higher production values but that PS2 era, GameCube era imagination where anything was really possible because games were still smaller. At that time, nowadays we all know how big they've gotten in the terms of budget and scope where it's like, okay, let's go back to how it was during the 360 and PS3 if you were to ask me. Because now I think we're getting ready for a renaissance of the return of the 10 to 20 hour game. But man, Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe was just a perfect game for that era. Uh, just loved having it in my collection, loved hopping into it from time to time, because it wasn't for a while that we got Injustice Gods Among Us, and that game was great. Uh, I, I grinded that so much, I was a Wonder Woman main, but that took some time. So it really, this was, the to me, the, the DC Flash fighting game that I never had. I swear on my life, like, this was my main, and I had so much fun playing as him. So just, that's the connection I wanted to make. Again, I think Injustice is a series that, if you're wondering if we're going to dive into it, Absolutely, first of all, I love Injustice, but it's really going to be when we get like a third Injustice game or something along those lines. But right now, when it comes to a Flash focused game, like to me, this is that game. And plus, it's just a fun, random game to pull up the shelf, which I love doing for this channel. Yeah, there are safer picks, but like I love trying to take risks here and bringing out ones that you hopefully see in your sub box and go, that game, man. Oh, yeah. I love that game and I gotta hear more about it. Or hey, what is this? That's the goal. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe down below. I'm looking forward to seeing your thoughts, your memories, so fire away. Other than that, take excellent care of yourselves and I will see you in the next Retro Rebound. Peace. Ow.